Good morning, tea sippers. We not staying. We just woke up. You see that? Ariel's grabbing on some ravioli. I need to stay with Ariel. I'm not staying, y'all, because my head been hurting bad. Sorry, this is day 11 in our quarantine. We missed day 10 because my stomach was messed up yesterday, so I was in the bed all day. Knocked out. I'm munching on this little bean sheet burrito. Ooh, can I have a pie? <laughs> mm. Can I have a bite of your ravioli? She ain't trying to share that shit, though. You see how that goes? I'm talking about, she ain't trying to let me get no sauce or nothing. Look. This is what I want. All on this shirt. Give me, girl, give me the damn bite. I'm trying to get my juice. Yeah. But look at the bite. Her bite bigger than mine. Look at her bite. Your big head fitting your big bite. Look. Your head and your bite. I don't want y'all to know we're alive. We here at home. Maxing and relaxing. My stomach is still messed up, probably because I'm eating shit like this. The reason I'm eating shit like this is because my tasting left is easy. I can't wait for it to come back. I think I'm in the mood for some tasty food. We need a crab dinner. My daughter is late. was like, I can't wait for my taste to come back. I'm going to need a crab boil. And that's what I'm going to give her. I'm going to put y'all more on her because I'm just relaxing. With, uh, sports in my home, so. I don't want to, you know, be just showing myself. So excuse me, y'all. But you know how it is. Having your belly just hanging out. My stomach be messed up, y'all. But that's good. That's that pot of kale. Did his job. Getting that sickness inside of me. This bring you burrito from the school is kind of good. Um, I'm watching Marlon, Marlon Wayne, his little show. Usually Marlon is like corny as hell to me, like corny funny, you know what I mean? But, um, this is funny. I like this show. <laughs> he burnt out. <laughs> Look at this boy. Mm -hmm. The frog didn't fail. He's knocked out, man, down on me. Not the ghost of penises past. Okay, come with me. Um, please. Okay, come on, Ariel. She set it up, y'all, to where she set up the spot for the phone. She just booting me off. So I love y'all, T-Sippers. I'm going to hand it over to her with her ravioli shirt. She's feeling better. Test results. Test results should be here today, too. Positive. Positive? You want a positive test result? No, I mean... Negative. Yeah. Okay. Love y'all, sippers. Ow! Apologize for missing day 10, y'all. I know we was doing the countdown, but I was man down.
Look, y'all, I even got the little sub from the school. That's tight, huh? They got, since she goes to virtual school, they give us like a little box for her. And yeah, she's eating my lunch and I'm eating her lunch. You made me this lunch. I know. Is that who you wanted? No, I did not. I carried that ravioli man right there behind that phone. Everywhere that I went, so I thought you was gonna ask me where is your raviolis, and I didn't say nothing because you. We didn't. opened the pantry. Yes. And I said, I didn't see. Usually she has her own shelf full of raviolis, right? There's none on there. So I said, Oh, Ariel, look, I found a can of raviolis hiding in the back for you, right? Spaghetti with meatballs. I was hiding that. Okay, she was hiding that. So when I made that Walmart delivery. I ordered some cans of rav mini raviolis that wasn't um, Chef Boyardee. So I told her that those are the grown-up raviolis, which is mine, right? I said, let's try them. And she said, okay. So, girl, don't lie. And Lord, you're hollering. You're hollering. You're in my ear. So. You're hollering. Yeah, that's why you went back because you know I'm going to sock you. Don't tell me I'm hollering. Anyway, um, so I go to so we're gonna eat the raviolis, right? She goes and grabs her can of Chef Boyardee's, like they gotta be Chef Boyardee. Anyway, so I went to the backyard. We started doing tricks with Dolce. I go in the deep freezer to see what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. Matter of fact, pork chops tonight, y'all. And um, and um. <laughs> this girl crazy. Um, so when I go in the deep freezer, I see that my husband put like all the little frozen burritos, you know, the little stuff from the school. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me get this little sub. Oh, okay, let me do this little BNG burrito. So that took me off the ravioli. So I'm eating this, and then I pop my can of ravioli from her for her. When I put in the microwave, she's like. I don't want that. I want my Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. I'm like, girl, I made you that. She's like, what are you going to eat? And I told her I'm eating this in the sandwich. She's like, okay. I'm like, just try it. It's the same thing. Okay. Are you lying right now? Anyway, um. Um. I'm going to my bite burrito. I forget what I'm saying because this shit is good. Okay. I wish there was more I need. Um, am my, I leaning on you? Yeah, on my <laughs> stomach. Sorry. You're just so comfortable. I had to go get her and put her in my bed like at 5 in the morning because I just need her. I'm like, oh, my mom. I just got to hug her, and she feels so good. She's my pillow. Come on, Juice. Why are you looking like that? You don't like that you're my pillow? You don't like that you're my cuddle bear? Am I lying? Huh? I fired one. I said, Ariel. Yes. Come lay down with Mommy. It's too dark in there. And then I came in there because it was my um, Knocked out. You were asleep for just a minute. I can remember you. Um, but anyway, so that's how she ended up eating it. I don't even, I probably won't even. Wow, there goes your can of shit, but I didn't know something. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh no, I see crying tears. Oh my gosh. But anyway, we were saying not to say what. Why was we bringing that up, Ariel? Huh? How did we cry? I don't know, I forgot. Oh, I know, because 
My ravioli is back there. And then you started bringing it up. Uh, anyway, that's how we all ended up eating or eating. Now I'm going to open this and go add some pepperoncinis and shit to it. <laughs> so, I got questions to ask you. So, look at this sandwich y'all from school. What the hell? Anyways. We just gotta make it right, y'all. First question. Yeah, I don't know about this cheese. Oh, it has white stuff on it. That's not white. That's from the cheese. No, I'm taking that cheese off and I'm putting me some aged cheddar on it. But anyways, how your day been? First question. I'm Com back, y'all. Comment down below. How your day been? In the comments. I was holding this, by the way. Anyways, a uh, second question. What is your favorite color? Mine is uh, is black. You then when you can pick one or two. But. Anyways, next question. Third question, I think. Yeah. Uh, have you subscribed? Tell the truth. You haven't subscribed? It's not too late. You know you can do it anytime. It's free. So do it. I'm waiting right here. Oh, I just got a notification that you just subscribed. Thank you. Anyway, so now that you answered those questions, Welcome to your intervention. do you have any questions to ask me? You can pick like You can pick one, which is like answering my questions, or you can pick two, which is you asking me questions. Well, asking my mom questions. Both of us questions, or you can do both at the same time. Anyway. What did you eat today? This was my breakfast. I just woke up and I picked these. I'm not. So sorry. Okay, anyways. Mm. How do you think my mom's, uh, mommy's, um, Subway sandwich is gonna look and taste? I think it's gonna look pretty decent, pretty good. And I think it will taste pretty good too. So, yeah.
Pause the movie for mommy. I don't know that was, um... Get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, she's back. So guys, how I'm does back, how does her thing look? So how does her thing look? I doctored it at. I was gonna put some avocado in it, but I didn't feel like doing all that. I so hold on. So I dressed it with a little mixed greens, as you can see here. A little mayo, mayo mustard under there, pepperoncinis on top. I added, I tore in half a piece of salami and added it because that meat looked like Freddy Krueger's face. A little lemon pepper, aged white cheddar at the bottom. A little grapes on the side. Then I knew she was on steel. <laughs> okay, back to her. So how did you think her sandwich looked? Comment down below and let me know how do you think she was doing on this video. Was she boring, y'all? No. Was she interesting, guys? Was no. she so beautiful and cuddly? Your phone is going to blow up with comments because they're going to answer my questions. Oh. I ask the questions. You're right. And I it's also time asked, to do these braids. I also asked them another really important question. What was that? She cropped you in, y'all. That shit wrong. It don't look this long. Did you subscribe? Oh, yeah, that question is very important. And guess what? She said no. I love her so much. She'd probably just be so tired of you in her face. They said no. But then, I convinced them to subscribe. Now you are a part of the family. I appreciate y'all, huh? Yes. Okay, I'm going to grow up and watch the next episode. Don't this meat look like Freddy Krueger face? Ugh. <laughs> what? V8 Splash Tropical Blend. Water. What is wrong with her forehead? Did I tell you I drizzled a little apple cider vinegar and oil on you?
<laughs> he said, Martin, he said, why is my daughter put Jackie Chan in all my hugs and kisses? They said, because she's growing up and she's crushing on a dude. And he said, she said, you better walk up to the party because your daughter is like it on a dude and the party is started. He said, well, we black, so we come into the party late. Oh. I had bad dreams today. Yeah. Did you have a bad dream today or did you have a good dream today? My bad dream was one time we was in Walmart because I wanted to get another, uh, another, uh, what's it called? Um, Mrs. Puff. If you don't know who Mrs. Puff is, she is my pillow. She's my big, big, fluffy, fluffy, really soft pillow. So sorry. And I just saw another tear. She just put me out the camera. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Forgot. <laughs> he is burnt. I think they've seen enough of us. Let's turn three minutes. Are you done taking over the show? Almost done. Almost done. She's slurping the juice. See, I'm getting full, huh? So, you like a boy. So, uh, what's the little guy's name? Eugene. Eugene. That's a Are you say what you had to say? They don't want to watch us watching TV. I was intrigued. Uh, I got more questions. Maybe we can ask more questions. Let's play the question game. Anyway, um, I think fifth question. Um, have you hit the notification bell? No. Michael's your favorite color. I mean, I already asked that question, but 
what's what's your way? What do you like? I don't know. I have a question. They like tea time. <laughs> they like tasty food. Because we stay in the mood. Any questions that you don't know yet and they can comment? Any questions you got for her, y'all? Because we're going to let y'all go. You can ask what's your favorite colors and stuff like uh, that. On Ariel's Playhouse. What? Mm. What's your favorite food? What would you like to see us eat? Do you want us to do other people's challenges? Or come up with challenges that we can do? My grape is juicy. This fool, Martin Wayne's, is a nut. He thought the dude that his girl, his daughter was crushing on, she said, I think he helps on the football team. His name is Eugene. I met him in drama class. And he's like, oh, Eugene, drama class. He's the water boy. He's like the quarterback. This fool comes to the door. He was like 15. That fool was 31. He said, that's a dead man. She said he helps out on the football team. And she said, yeah, he helps out. He throws the football to the team. He said, he's a quarterback. Well, bye, guys. It's hot. Love y'all. I'm going to watch my show. Bye.